I'm a fifth generation Ochoa Tucsonian, and you know, at the turn of the century, there used to be water here with uh, tremendous amounts of uh, trees and senegas, and there was an abundance of plants here at one time. And uh, we just want to bring a little back to what it was. There's a wonderful history of this area being a verdant floodplain with flowing water, uh, with agriculture, and with lots of native riparian vegetation. And now because of groundwater pumping and other factors like erosion, the Santa Cruz River really looks very different. The neighborhood has a deficit of water, a deficit of vegetation, but ironically, when it rains hard here, the streets just fill up with water and are badly flooded. Barrio Kroger Lane residents wanted to improve this beautiful park and improve water conservation and water harvesting in their neighborhood. And so we partnered with the Tucson Audubon. Uh, now we're doing wonderful uh, reinvestment projects, infrastructure projects that takes advantage of the water that flows through our streets. And we're using it to bring back native vegetation to help habitat. Uh, my father has told me many times that in the old days, the ranchers and the people that cultivated the fields, they used to make basins here to collect the water off of the runoff. And they used to use gravity feed to water their little milpas, as they were known back then, you know, little gardens. It is a, an ancient method of being able to conserve water, uh, but it is so innovative in that it brings the partnerships, it, it brings the youth, and it does so, such wonderful things for our neighborhood. We're here with Southwest Conservation Corps, and today we're here to fill in mulch in the water basins that we built here in the Barrio Kroger neighborhood. And we are planting plants and watering plants that we've already planted. I've learned that, you know, with the water basins, it collects the water, and then you can have the native plants growing, and you get more wildlife, you get more birds, you know, we learned to dig the ditch. We learned how to plant the trees, which is very important. I think it's important because you know, people like us, we're staying fit, staying healthy, and it's fun to us because we're still little and we like to play with tools and dirt. These rain gardens, they're lower than the street level from which the stormwater is coming, but there has to be some way of the stormwater to get into the basin, and that's done through this curb cut. Then water flows across this rock spillway that the kids have created. The basin is armored around the edge with the rock to prevent erosion. The Together Green program really looks for innovative projects to get them off the ground, and that's exactly what's happened here in Barrio Kroger Lane. Our Together Green innovation funding set the groundwork with the neighbors, educated the neighbors, got some demonstrations on the ground, and then that's really taken off. I'm very forever thankful that Toyota had sponsored this uh, grant with uh, Tucson Audubon. I mean, it went a long way. It was money well invested and in, uh, getting this oasis, as I could like to call it here, at the base of the mountain. And it's just going to provide so much uh, beautiful uh, essence to the, to the community here. You know, I applaud any program that brings resources to Tucson, that puts uh, neighbors and residents to work, that puts youth to work, and that encourages partnership in the community. I applaud what Together Green is doing with the city of Tucson, and I applaud what Tucson Audubon Society is doing with the neighborhood. Life and community has been happening here uh, for 4,000 years. And so we're just restoring what was naturally there. We're restoring what uh, had been here for generations and generations, and it reaffirms the conservation, the water conservation ethic that Tucsonans so much believe in.